Hello, my name is Chris Richter and welcome to Moodle at Ricochet. What we're going to look at is how to purge the Moodle cache. Now, what does that mean? The Moodle learning management system that you obviously know about, otherwise you wouldn't be here, has a cache. This cache actually belongs inside Moodle, which is different to your browser cache. So if you're clearing your browser cache, which is to do with any website that your browser uses, that's a completely different thing. What Moodle does, it has its own cache. The idea being that your templates, your, your theme, extra JavaScript and CSS files that are living on the server, they're often dynamically created in Moodle. What Moodle wants to do is to cache all this information so that your browser will load a lot faster, especially if you have thousands of students. This Moodle cache can be cleared. Why is this a problem? Or why would you need to do this? Let's say you've made a small change to a Moodle template, to one of your pages or to a theme. You've modified your own theme or added a child theme. That cache needs to be refreshed. Now Moodle will normally do that automatically with a thing called cron that will go through and clear all that up for you. But it doesn't happen straight away. Sometimes it can take quite a while. So if you need to go in and clear the Moodle cache yourself, you can do this by going to Site Administration, Development and Purge Caches. So let's have a look. Let's go to Moodle, go to Site Administration, make sure you're logged in as an administrator, select Development and select Purge Caches. You now have the option to purge all caches or if you're only working on a theme or one small area uh, of Moodle and you need to clear it, you can just choose just the cache that you need to clear. So if you've just been modifying some language strings or a theme, choose the one you want, select purge. We'll purge all caches so you can see what it looks like. And that's it. All done. Nice and simple. Hopefully this has been useful to you. If you uh, would like to know about some more of the top 10 admin tasks that a Moodle administrator should know about, click on the link below this video and I'll take you through how to clear a cache, how to run cron, how to set tasks, turning on debugging, reading log files, edit the config, run automated backups, check performance overview, check security reports, and how to use the ad hoc database queries. I hope this has been helpful. Please feel free to check out more videos on how to make the most out of the Moodle learning management system.